Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen and I am a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I am on the My WW Blue Plan. Today is Saturday, so that means it is grocery haul day. I have some super fun new food finds for you. I did shopping at both Target, which I haven't been to in a few weeks, so it was pretty exciting to go back and see some new things. And also, of course, my weekly trip to Trader Joe's, which they never disappoint in new food finds as well. I'll also be sharing with you my meal plan and what you should expect to see on Monday for meal prep. So you don't wanna miss out on that as well. If you're new, make sure that you are subscribed and your bell is turned on so you're notified whenever new videos are uploaded. Make sure you're checking out that description box down below where you're going to find my second YouTube channel all about nutrition and weight loss. So I'd love it if you'd head over and support me and subscribe. You'll also find the link for my nutrition coaching website. I offer everything from macro calculation, one-on-one -on -one coaching, group coaching, check it out. There's a little bit of something for everyone and we could all use a little bit of weight loss and nutrition coaching along the way. You're also going to find links and discount codes to all of my favorite things and the link to head over and join me over on Facebook. I'd love to have you join me over there as well. Lastly, if you love grocery hauls, give this one a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it and it really helps out my channel. So let's jump into this week's Grocery haul. So here is this week's grocery haul. I made a trip to both Target, which I haven't been in a while, so I was pretty excited. Found a couple new things there. And then I also made, of course, my weekly trip to Trader Joe's for produce. And of course, found a few great things there as well. So let's jump in to this week's grocery haul. First, I picked up a six pack of the Ginger Root Beer Zevia. This is actually my favorite Zevia. It tastes just like root beer, but has a little more ginger, which I really, really like. These were on sale at Target for two for nine. Normally they're about $5 a six pack, so a little bit of a savings. And then I picked up kombucha and I was really excited that Trader Joe's has their fall edition kombucha. This is one of my very, very favorites. It's apple, turmeric, carrots, and spices. So it's sweet, but it's also spicy. I really, really like it. They didn't have this at Target, so I actually picked up three bottles at Trader Joe's, but then at Target, I went ahead and grabbed a bottle of the Gingerberry, which is also one of my favorites, and the Summer Edition Unity, which this will be gone pretty soon, so I went ahead and picked one of those up as well. That way, these five should last me throughout the week. This is new to me, a new flavor of Natural Bliss Almond Milk Creamer. Look at caramel toffee. Doesn't that like scream fall? So I had to pick it up. It has Christmas trees on it, so I believe it is a seasonal flavor but this looks really, really delicious, so I had to grab that. String cheese for my husband. He was completely out and he requested Colby Jack. I have to say this is one of my favorite types of string cheese as well. It's just really, really good. Picked up a four pack of the Too Good Vanilla Yogurt just because I'm out of yogurt, and these were on a great coupon on the Target app. I think it used to be called Cartwheel. Now I don't know what it's called, but the Target app, you can actually save a little bit of money by downloading coupons, so I picked that up. A couple of cheeses, some provolone for his sandwiches. He ended up not going through all of the meat last week, so I didn't have to buy any meat, but we are almost out of cheese, so I picked that up. Mozzarella cheese for a recipe. This is just the reduced fat mozzarella classic. I did go ahead and grab a couple things of meat because as you can see, they were super inexpensive. This was $10 normally, $5 off, and what it is is just chicken breast. So I thought that this would be good to have on hand. Plus it's so inexpensive, I couldn't pass it up. And then tonight, I'm actually going to cook these up. These are the Parmesan chicken breast. So Parmesan breaded chicken breast, $5 off this package, made these $5. And don't those look, let me show you guys. These look so good, look at that. So we're gonna cook those up tonight. I'm making soup, so we'll add that to tonight's dinner. This was on clearance and I had to grab it. I haven't tried this. You guys know I love the Good Foods queso. So this is their plant-based avocado pesto dip. So I thought, first of all, this would be really, really good with chicken to use as a dip or to put on top of your chicken. And it was about $3 on clearance. So I had to pick it up. Nice, clean ingredients and I love their queso. So I have really high hopes for this. So let me know down in the comments if you tried this. Pretty excited. I needed some non-fat Greek yogurt for a recipe, and this was the smallest one they had, so I went ahead and picked that up. 
You guys know, you already know, when I go to Target, I always get the chocolate covered cherries. I love these. They are chocolate and white chocolate covered frozen cherries. You find these in the frozen section with the other desserts. I'm obsessed. I love these and I honestly have never seen these anywhere else. So I always, always get them when I go to Target. And then some olives. My husband requested some more olives. He eats these a lot. And then Trader Joe's came out with their seasonal vanilla bean paste. You guys, if you are bakers or you want vanilla for oatmeal, this is incredible. It is seasonal. It sells out really quick. It's $5 for this jar. I think I went through three of them last year. So I'm excited for that because I have some fall recipes coming your way. Taco seasoning for the dogs. Well, for the holes that the dogs dig in the backyard. These were super cheap, so I picked up four. New food find at Target as well. These are the Smashmallows and Pumpkin Pie. These look really good, look at that, yum. So I like to have these as a sweet treat. They're low in points. They're huge for the points. So hopefully these pumpkin ones don't disappoint. I'm pretty excited about them. I needed some chicken broth for a recipe, so I grabbed the Good & Gather organic chicken broth. And then my husband was out of his favorite little muffins that go in his lunch. So I grabbed these at Target. Next time I go to Walmart, I'm going to buy the 10 pack. Just heads up, it's way cheaper to buy them at Walmart. You actually get 10 pouches instead of five, and it's like a dollar more than the five. So Target does not have the 10 pouches, so I ended up just getting the five pouches. Moving back around here, I have some frozen riced cauliflower. I actually need this for a recipe. I have a bag already in my freezer, so that's great. I'll be using that up. I have never had these, but these were also on the Target app. These are the broccoli and cheese veggie tots. I've seen other people eat these. I don't know if I'm going to like them, but I wanted to give them a try, and they were a killer deal on the app, so I grabbed those. I needed shredded hash browns for a recipe this week. And again, these were on sale. And then here's a new find from Trader Joe's. This is the spaghetti Casio e Pepe. If I slaughtered that, please let me know down in the comments. This is spaghetti pasta in a rich creamy sauce with pecorino romano cheese and black pepper. So basically it's cheesy pasta. Hello cheese and pasta, two of my favorite things. So I had to pick that up. And then we decided that Friday night was going to be pizza night in our house. So I found two fun pizzas at Trader Joe's. I have had neither one of these. So I'm excited. This is the barbecue chicken pizza. So it says topped with tangy barbecue sauce, chicken, mozzarella, and gouda cheese and red onions. So I'm going to have this one. And then I picked up the wood fired Naples style uncured pepperoni pizza for my husband. So we have never tried either of these. So I'm pretty excited. Of course, points and everything will be here on the screen. Another new find from Trader Joe's. You guys know how much I love the Stonefire non-crackers. I've purchased them twice so far from Walmart. Well, Trader Joe's came to my rescue and brought out their version of garlic non-crackers. These are cheaper. There's more in the package. These are also organic, which makes me really happy. That way there's no GMO corn use. So I'm excited for these. You guys know I love my La Terra Vina dip. I will insert a picture here so you know what I'm talking about. These are amazing in the dip and we have went through so much, so much of that dip. So got the crackers for that. And then I decided to pick up some chicken nuggets, mainly for my husband. I want to make my gen salad that uses the cauliflower chicken and he doesn't like those. So I grabbed these kid fresh nuggets. They were on the target app. I've never had them, but supposedly there's veggies in these as well. Anyway, he'll like them, and they, again, were inexpensive on the app. So everything else I have is produce. So I have some organic broccoli. This is for a recipe. I decided to grab some organic strawberries. I'm so bummed out, you guys. Fruit is becoming more and more expensive. I feel like every minute that passes. So I picked this up. It was $4 for this small container a green bell pepper for a recipe, cherry tomatoes for a recipe. I decided to go with a papaya as another fruit this week. I haven't had one in a while. And these are inexpensive. They're about $3.29 for this big one at Trader Joe's. Lemons for my water as always. Yay! I'm so excited. Delicata squash is back and it's 99 cents her squash at Trader Joe's. We love these. They're so good in the air fryer. They're so good in the oven. My goal is to show you guys how I cook these and what I eat in a day or a recipe video because we love these and they are seasonal. So grab them. What's great about delicata squash is you actually eat the rind. So there's no peeling involved. All you do is cut and cook. So, so good. 
Another little bag of the little organic baby potatoes for breakfast prep, I believe. And lastly, I grabbed some organic cremini mushrooms. So that's everything for groceries. I did pick up a couple of non-grocery items at Target that I've heard rave reviews about. I want to share those with you guys because I've heard that they're amazing. I can't wait to try them. The first is this Tresemme Texture. So this is Dry Texture Finishing Spray. So I've heard that this stuff is amazing to give your hair a little bit of volume. All you do is just spray this on your roots of your hair and fluff. So I'm excited for this. I will link these two things down below for you guys through, the tar through Target as well. And then the other thing I picked up was this Nexus Maximum Finishing Mist. So I like having hairspray, but I don't want a really heavy hairspray. So I've heard that this is amazing. It has great hold, but also isn't super heavy. So I picked that up. And by the way, there are coupons on the Target app for both of these items. So here's what is on the plan for meals for the week. This is the week of September 26th through October 2nd. I can't believe September's over. Is it just me or did it fly by for you guys too? Let me know down in the comments. But I have quite an exciting menu planned. So of course today's Saturday, we always support a local business, go out for dinner. So I have that set for us today. Tomorrow I'm going to be making creamy sun-dried tomato pasta. This sounds amazing. And you guys will be seeing this in Wednesday's What I Eat in a video. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on that video. Monday, I'm going to be doing a hobo hamburger foil pack. So this is kind of a camping tradition where you cook everything in a foil pack, but I've heard this recipe is delicious, so I'm excited for that on a Monday. Tuesday is a leftovers night just because I go to Jazzercise. Wednesday, I am doing barbecue chicken and bacon taquitos. Three of my favorite things, barbecue anything, bacon, and Mexican anything, aka taquitos. So I'm excited for that. Thursday, we're going to do some steak kebabs just because, again, you know we have a lot of steak from ButcherBox in our freezer, so we're going to make some kebabs. And then Friday, let's do a pizza night. That is where those frozen pizzas from Trader Joe's came in. So I'm pretty excited about this week's menu for dinner. So let me show you what you'll be seeing on Monday in meal prep. So for breakfast this week, I'm going to be prepping a skinny cheesy potato. So this is kind of a spin on scallop potatoes, but with a little bit of a breakfast vibe. And then I'm going to pair that with eggs and potentially some sausage, but I'm going to be showing you the cheesy potato recipe, which again, might a couple of my favorite things, potatoes and cheese. Lunch is Thai chicken bowls. I've been wanting something Thai. So that sounded amazing. And you guys, this dessert Samoa cookie bars, all Girl Scout related Samoa cookie bars. That sounds amazing. So you will be seeing all three of these recipes in meal prep on Monday. Thank you for joining me on another weekly grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of my new food finds and I gave you a little bit of food inspiration along the way. I can't wait for meal prep on Monday. You're definitely not going to want to miss that video. So to not miss a video, make sure you are subscribed and that your bell is turned on. That way you're notified when new videos are uploaded. Again, I would love it if you'd head over and subscribe to my new channel. It would really mean a lot to me. I have a goal of hitting a thousand subscribers by the end of the month. It's a little far-fetched, but we are well on our way. So I'd love it if you'd head over and join me there. Make sure you're checking out that description box for nutrition coaching information, links, discount codes to my favorite things, and of course, the link to join me over on Facebook. We'd love to have you join that community. Again, if you love grocery hauls, give this one a big thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for spending a little bit of your Saturday with me, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, friends.